Hello and welcome to the announcement show for the Urban Wildlife Round of the Pangolin Photo Challenge 2023. I'm your host Toby German and in this video I'm going to be revealing the winner of this particular challenge but I'm also going to show you some of the other images that we regard as being highly commended. In 2023 we had over 10,000 entries so it's taking us a while to get through them so every week we are going to announce the winner of each of the challenges so make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out. Uh, without further ado, let's get to announcing the winner of this particular challenge. So before I announce the highly commended and winning image of this round, let's remind ourselves of what that individual is going to win. They will get a four night stay at the Pangolin Chobi Hotel in Northern Botswana. This fabulous hotel will take great care of you and during your stay, you'll go out into the Chobi National Park on our game viewers and photo boats, along with the Pangolin photo host that you know so well from this channel. If you've decided that you wanted to come to Botswana for a little bit longer, then we will happily exchange this prize package for a voucher for 2,500 US dollars that you can put towards any safari on our website. That's quite a prize. Now before I announce the winner of this challenge, I want to let you know that the Pangolin Photo Challenge 2024 is now open. If you took part last year, then you are already eligible to take part, so please go ahead, log in and start putting your entries into the challenge. If you haven't taken part so far, then all you have to do is become a Pangolin Guardian. Now to become a Pangolin Guardian is very simple. All you need to do is a 15 minute online course which will teach you all about pangolins. And as soon as you've finished, you will be eligible to enter the Pangolin Photo Challenge and all the challenges in the future. So please follow the link in the description down below, become a Pangolin Guardian, and then you will be able to enter this year's challenge. So the first of the highly commended images is this fantastic shot from Owen Cochran called Baboon Jenga for quite obvious reasons. Uh, Owen saw this happening and said that he watched the baboons jumping back and forth um, to this brick wall depositing their babies I suppose as a sort of fortress type creche um, to then go out and, and create mischief love photographing baboons they are always up to something deeply underrated as photographic subjects and uh, with the high exposure um, and the nice clear white background this uh, really does place emphasis on this baby clinging on for dear life in fact you can see one leg has come loose so uh, yes i hope it made it i hope it was all fine anyway congratulations owen superb shot very nice indeed and great title baboon jenga excellent Next up, um, we have Mike Walker's last leg. Um, at first glances, and I must say that this was uh, shot in film and then scanned, so lovely to have a, a film shot image at 35 millimeters um, into the submissions. Um, it really gives a richness to the colors, so very nice indeed. It does look like this fox has just finished competing or something, looks exhausted, but then when on closer inspection, you can see that it's back left leg is not doing so well so it looks rather woeful um foxes very popular obviously for urban wildlife photography particularly in the uk where this was taken i believe at crystal palace um a very emotive shot um a very well composed shot and very good you can spend a lot of time looking at this shot um, and then you notice the lone runner on the left running around the inside lane of the track um very nice mike thank you very much for sharing highly commend it Next up, we have Michael Bervanger. I hope I pronounced that right. Cemetery visitor. This cemetery is in Vienna and is uh, rather overgrown and rather delightful. I think you could do all sorts of other photography in here. The fact that this deer has, at this exact moment in time, turned around to look at you and is beautifully framed between these two tombstones really makes the image. I think you, you mentioned it in the description um, very engaging. Um, personally, I, I find graveyards absolutely fascinated. So, uh, fascinating, sorry. So, I think that if you can find some wildlife in there as well, I think Vienna is on my list of places to visit. I want to go and see this place. So, Michael, congratulations, highly commended images for you. Next uh, next up, we have Florian Kreutzbaumer. Um Amazing 
image. I think this works very well in black and white. Um, apparently taken at sunrise and uh, Florian was photographing the Taj Mahal from a distance when he saw this large bird of prey settle on a very exposed stump. Um, and so I managed to get it completely in line, which is amazing to have it framed by the main part of the Taj Mahal. So a really, really lovely and emotive shot, Florian, um, really tells a story. And I think the natural haze that seems to be present in, in a lot of areas in India actually lends itself to creating this very nice, almost sort of two-tone effect, which shows the outline of the Taj Mahal, which is very distinctive in itself. Um, and then to have the very dominant um, uh, silhouette, almost, of the bird of prey in the foreground. Excellent shot, highly commended. Thank you very much. Next up, David Fleer's Man versus Nature. Yeah, a sad tale. I mean, polar bears are featuring very heavily in, in this competition this year. Um, and this is an emotional shot. Um, it does show maybe the polar bear looks a little bit lost in an almost maze of oil drums which have been thrown to one side or left out. Uh, this is in Manitoba, Canada. I think that this might well have won it if it wasn't for the pesky stick which is going through the face of the polar bear, which obviously the judges will have taken into account. Not much you can do about it. Sticks are something that we have to deal with as wildlife photographers. But nonetheless, it is a really, really powerful, powerful photograph. So David, congratulations, a highly commended for you. And finally, we have the winner of this round, which is a photograph entitled Wild Art uh, by Daniela Anger. Congratulations, Daniela. This is an amazing shot taken in a town just north of Bangkok, a crab-eating macaque, I believe. Um, this town is pretty much overrun with these macaques, and that's why I suppose local artists find them inspiration for their graffiti and their art but I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that you know you you figured this one out you were just hoping you found the image on the wall and we're just hoping that eventually a macaque would walk past to make the image complete um, but I think it's a really really cool image it's very striking it tells a great story um, Daniela tells us in the descriptions that although this town in particular is overrun with the macaques the macaques themselves are actually on the IUCN red list. They are fed by the locals and they are um, supported and they tend to live near the, the, monast the monasteries um, so they are sort of taken care of but their population growing I think it lends itself more to uh, human animal conflict which maybe is the reason why the expression on the macaque on the wall is baring its teeth in the sign of looking a little bit afraid or threatened or angry. Maybe that is something that the artists have seen themselves. Anyway, Daniela, it's a really cool story. It's a really cool shot. Congratulations. You have won the Urban Wildlife Round. So thank you very much for watching the show. If you'd like to enter the Pangolin Photo Challenge, you can click on the button over here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on the far end. And if you'd like to watch a video featuring all of the finalists from this particular round, then I will disappear and you can click on the video here. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.